Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of 5 Minutes or Less of EMS. I'm your host, Kevin Mackey, and today we're coming to you from the back of Medic 112. We're at Mercy San Juan, they just dropped off a patient, and we want to talk today about how to use the LifePak 15 to transmit information both to ImageTrend and also to LifeNet, which is a cardiac arrest cloud. The best part about today also, we're going to give you some tips and some troubleshooting about how to get it done. So we're here with Anthony DeZoto from Medic 112. Anthony, take it away. Show us how to do this. Super simple process. Screen's still on from your code. You're going to come down here to transmit. It'll default site to image trend. And all you have to do, hit send. Perfect. Okay, and it'll run through that countdown to about 99%. Yeah, exactly. And they'll spit out a little receipt for you. And okay. I'll tell you whether it's completed or failed. Now it's a separate process, right, to send this to LifeNet, to the correct. cloud, for the cardiac arrest. Yes, correct. Show us how to do that, because you got to do both, right? Yes. Cardiac arrest, you got to do both. So again, just hit transmit, and it's going to come down with your selections. You go down to site, go down to cardiac arrest, select, roll back up to send, and send it, just like the, just like the first one. Okay, and it rolls through that 99% spits exactly. out of the report, yeah. right? Okay, great. Well, thanks, Anthony. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Okay, everyone. So we transitioned over here to the headquarters of EMS 24. I have firefighter Brendan Hogan with me today. We're going to run through some tips and troubleshooting tricks, but first of all, I want to just have Brendan run through kind of the technology so we kind of all understand that. So, Brendan. So these things are hooked up. They've got some sort of gateway in them, right? Can you show us where that gateway is? Our wireless gateway is uh, in the side pouch uh, next to our cables, AKG cables. The connection for the wireless gateway connects in the back. Okay, and these all have lights on them and, and things like that that, that, make, that make sense, but how does it all work? So it goes through that and then it goes to another device. So for Metro Fire, uh, as soon as you turn on your LifePak 15, you'll get uh, green lights on top of your wireless gateway to show that it's functioning correctly. This wireless gateway communicates with the uh, GX440 or the modem that's assigned to the apparatus, and it communicates through that to be able to send, send the data up to the cloud for you to be able to pull down on your iPad. It's important though that this isn't specific just for you, right? You can be near any Metro Fire apparatus and it's all going to work together, right? They all talk to each other. The gateway uh, has the codes in it for every piece of equipment, all of our apparatus. Okay. So, but these things do fail from time to time, but there's things we could probably do to make it more successful. Some of our local hospitals, Mercy San Juan, UC Davis, have got these, have difficulty transmitting out, correct? Yes, uh, the GX440 works off of a Verizon card, um, so you need to make sure you've got a strong Wi-Fi, a strong uh, LTE connection. You can see that because our iPads also run off of the uh, Verizon card. Okay. You also need to be within close proximity to an apparatus, so they won't transmit well from the bedside uh, inside the hospital or from inside of a patient's home. Do you have any tips or tricks you can talk about about maybe saving it for later so it's easier to find? Save the call under the archive, under the uh, options code, click patient, and on last name just type in code. By labeling it as a code, uh, anyone will be able to see that that which call it was and be able to upload it to the cloud. Maybe when you have a better cell phone service uh, or maybe when the oncoming crew the next day is able to get a, a better connection. Can you show us how to find the code that you just saved and then how to transmit that one? Yes. You're going to come select options, scroll over to archives. From archives, go to yes. Send data. Go to all patients. You're going to come down and select the code. Ch change your site to cardiac arrest. And select send. That wraps up this edition of 5 Minutes Less of EMS. Special thank you to EMS 24, Brennan Hogan, as well as the crew of Medic 112 for sharing their time with us today. We'll see you on the next episode. Okay guys, so this video is packed full of information, so I'm gonna run through four key things I want you to remember. Number one, upload every case to ImageTrend, every single one, so it pulls it into your ePCR. Number two, when you run a cardiac arrest, 
take the second step and upload it to the cardiac arrest. Like you're transmitting a 12 lead almost, but you're transmitting the case to the cardiac arrest cloud. That's a second step. Number three, make sure that the modem is securely connected to the back of the LifePak 15. That's a common failure. And number four, check for the green lights on the modem to make sure that it's getting a good signal. Okay, that wraps it up. If you need to watch the video again, of course, it's there for you. Have a good day.